Yo, what's up? Today on Passport Kings, we're going back to Africa, the United States of Africa. Engage. PassportKings.com. Welcome aboard, abroad. From the Bronx, Harlem, Queens, and Brooklyn, to North and South Philly, to East versus West, Bloods and Crips, to all over Chicago, there's a problem with melanated people. And you might think I was talking about crime, but I'm not. And that problem is the lack of togetherness. There always seems to be some stupid artificial line separating us. Older cats to younger cats, light skin to dark skin. Yo, with numbers comes power. With one shared identity will come the strength we need to overcome all obstacles. All people who originated in Africa, I mean, excluding the black conservatives, all right, so the reason why I excluded uh, black conservatives and black Republicans is because their ideals always seem to originate from the notion that we should just accept unfair treatment. We should just do our best to be accepted by people who have proven constantly their hate for us. Well, me, I'm not down with unfair treatment, period. It seems like Black conservatives are always running to the rescue of the very people that keep them down and they do whatever they can to disrupt unity. All people who originated in Africa, I mean excluding the black conservatives, should be accepted and united as being the same so we can take on the much bigger issues we face. In my opinion, nowhere is that more evident than in Africa. Everyone gets upset at people who call Africa a country instead of a continent. Any glimpses into geographical studies will tell you that Africa is indeed a continent. But other than designations and landmass surrounded by water definitions of a continent, I begin to ask myself, why isn't Africa one country? It should be the United States of Africa and every current country be the states that unite it. Just like with the names of places I've mentioned earlier, there are large numbers of people of African descent who always seem to be divided by invisible boundaries. Together, the Federation would have the largest total territory of any state, including the Russian Federation. It would also be the third most populous state after China and India. So let's just decide on one language, give absolute freedom of religion, and let's go! When I began to research, I quickly came up on the argument that there are too many languages, cultural differences, political boundaries, and religious beliefs that will always keep Africa as being separate from its own self. Then there's that country that the people don't even believe themselves to be a part of Africa, like Morocco. What is that about? Have we been brainwashed as a people so much that we hang on to any differences we can find in order to say that we are not like other black people? You gotta give it to them. The system of white supremacy has done a real number on our brains. In my opinion, Africa needs to be one country. Africa would be the richest, most powerful country and continent on the planet. We who were born in America would see this and maybe start to realize there's not much difference between us and there's a lot to be proud of one another for. There's a lot of us who don't feel like Africa is home because quite honestly, when we meet Africans who are fresh from Africa and America, we always run into problems. It's almost like they see us the same as the racists in white society see us. And sad to admit this, but a lot of us also sees Africans the way white society has depicted them. We have been divided and conquered. With media always bad-mouthing anything black, I guess I can see why we seem to always approach each other with caution, skepticism, and distrust. And we always seem to be pulled apart by invisible cultural differences. Will this ever change? In the poem by Marcus Garvey in 1924 called Hail to the United States of Africa, he felt the continent should be under one government too. Gaddafi, who was the chairperson of the African Union and celebrated statesman, was all for this idea as well. He said only a true pan-African state can provide stability and wealth to Africa. Also, a number of other AU members felt that it would bring total peace to new Africa. All black people need this. African Americans would love to call the United States of Africa home. So would displaced Africans from the Caribbean, South America, and the rest of the world. 
I believe the reason why this hasn't been done is the same reason why there is so much dysfunction in our communities across the board. And that is the global system of white supremacy and those who are too greedy to see the need of a united people. The United States of Africa would be their first real threat to world domination. With the murder of Gaddafi also came the death to the real push of this idea. That really saddens me because I can visualize a united Africa that would be home base for all people of melanin. A place where the brightest African American mind could join forces with the geniuses from the likes of Ghana, Ethiopia, Algeria, Brazil, Jamaica, and Kenya, etc. could use everything we've learned in our centuries long travels across the world and put it all together to make a utopian capital city in the center of Africa where health, togetherness, and wealth is so normal that it's an afterthought. A place where all descendants of Africa, whether they have ever left the continent or stayed through the onslaughts of evil outside influences has decimated the richest places in the world, can all join together as one people. Where we all are treated equal. Where we all belong. United. And that's my rant. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment below. And for the record, I only did minimal research, but I would love to be schooled if I'm missing something. This was more of an emotional project than a research project. And this is not about having a permanent residence in Africa. I mean, you don't tell Italian Americans that they need to have a permanent resident in Italy in order to call themselves Italian Americans. This is about having a home, a place that I could visit that I can call my own. A place that will protect us when they see another country treating us a certain way. I mean, because African Americans are in a very unique situation. So, when your party tells me to go back to Africa, I will when it becomes united. And I will go back to Africa like the king of passports king. Remember to leave comments below, subscribe and like and share it with your social media. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to make money online or just book a trip, go to www.passportkings.com and pick up our free book while you're there. This episode of Passport Kings is brought to you by the most exciting opportunity that is currently taking the world by storm. The combination of planet marketing and IntelliTravel gives you the ability to make money in your very own travel business. Become an independent travel agent. Making big money in this $8 trillion business is easy once you learn the basics, travel at deep discounts, and become an expert of exotic locations. Check out more information at www.passportkings.com slash become travel agent and start down the road of living your exotic travel dream while making the money that it takes to do it.